Hey y'all, it's Tanya Allen. So today we have a Dollar Tree nautical decor video. It was going to be a complete tutorial on these three projects, but I am new to this and I lost a lot of my footage. So you'll see I have a couple of pieces of footage that I saved, but not much. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I'm doing a beach theme in my house, um, on the downstairs portion of my house. So I wanted to have, you know, some beach pieces, nautical pieces. Started off with this tray, painted it a really pretty blue color, some spray paint that I got on sale at Target. Um, I had a couple of these dowels, uh, either from Walmart or from Dollar Tree. I also had some drop cloth that I use for lots of other projects around my house. Drop cloth is so wonderful. So, as you can see on this little side video, this is where I was measuring and cutting the drop cloth to make the sails for the sailboat. Very, very simple. Measure twice, cut once, measured it from the center point to where I was putting the dowel all the way across. And then the second one, how I wanted that one to be as well. Then I took some, there's a spray paint, y'all. <laughs> I was so happy to find that on sale at Target. Anyway, so I took some glue gun and some um, twine and wrapped it around that dowel, made it look like it was um, also connected at both ends of the sailboat. Very, very easy. This piece that you're seeing right there came from a light. It was a bottom piece of that four or five inch light. It's a single battery operated light. Um, I used it in the chandeliers and I didn't need that bottom piece right there. So I just painted that and put that on there to hold the dowel. The inside piece is two pieces of rubber that actually have a hole in it that the dowel set right into. That piece came from that um, wine spout, uh, pour spout thing that you put on top of a, a jar and you pour stuff out of it. I don't know, I guess it's called a pour spout. Anyway, I would used the metal part of this pour spout for something else and I put those two rubber pieces in. This is just some fabric that I had, extra fabric laying around, love the stars cut them out to make it look uh, like the flags on sailboats. I was really pleased with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Really pleased with it. I have it on my mantle now, and I was so excited that I got this idea um, and made it for so inexpensive with some of the stuff that I had right here at the house. This next one is this rope basket, and I wanted it real floppy at the top, um, the top half of it. So, I bought one of those little plant things. That, that's it. I don't know what you call that. It's a little bowl, plastic bowl. Started wrapping that and used glue gun to attach it to there. And then I wrapped it on top, the rope on top of itself, around and around, and used bits of glue gun or um, hot glue to attach it. And I'm in love with it. It is so cute. I made a floral put inside there. I made... Um, paint the bottom half white to give it some contrast. Not sure yet, but I already do have flowers in there on my mantle. Have not painted it yet. Um, and I was thinking I could also go up taller and make different size bowls. Too cute. Here's my cute little starfish. I got it off of one of those signs that the Dollar Tree sells. It has starfish. Some of them had seahorses and flip flops and you know all kinds of stuff for beach and summer. I twine but put the twine around it glued it on the back. I had a broken pearl necklace, fake pearl necklace, and I had a bracelet that had all those gorgeous blue beads, and it also had these little starfish on the bracelet, so the starfish was in the neutral colors and the blues, and I also had other beads because I make jewelry, and I just put that all in the center. I wanted that dimensional look. There's the boards that I got it from, y'all. So one of those boards had a really large starfish and one of them had the smaller starfish. The large starfish, I would, thought I was gonna do twine on that as well, but what I ended up doing um, is just painting that white. I flipped it over and painted it on the back side, sanded it all down, and it's on my mantle and it's just nice and white because I already had a lot of those creamy colors with the rope and the twine and the sailboat and I had some blues with my flowers, and it needed some kind of contrast, so I did paint that one white. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I wish I had not lost my footage, uh, but that is what I have on my mantle, and I'll show you that later. Thanks, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and like. 